And we are back live on air, just like the pilots we are every single morning here. If you're joining us right now, this is Biashara Tuesday on KUTV Rise Today. Engage me across all the social media platforms that you have, you have access to. That is across uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm Richard underscore Kenya, KUTV Kenya. SMS slash WhatsApp numbers are somewhere here. Any hashtag you want to use, make sure that you use it. But the ones that we are really keen on looking at is hashtag Biashara Tuesday, hashtag Rise Today. Comment on our Facebook live stream, which is currently ongoing on our Facebook pages. So if you want to join this as you go on with the normal business, you can go there on Facebook, KUTV Kenya, and check out this particular live stream that is currently ongoing right there. But now we are on the launch, and if we are on the launch, we're discussing matters that are very pertinent to society and how they, we are trying to change or how they are trying to change us. So this morning, we are uh, taking a look at climate change, which includes both global warming and, you know, um, which, are, which are driven by human-induced emissions, as well as weather patterns. So this is all a culmination into a climate crisis that we are trying to solve all across every nation. And what are people doing close at home? We want to find out because I'm here joined by an awesome panel on my set who I'm going to allow to introduce themselves here in the morning, starting with the lady who's closest to me wearing a very awesome woody that uh, reads war, that reads war. Um, I hope we won't be, um, the green, uh, yeah, I'm seeing the green war. I hope it's not war against the green, but uh, <laughs> we shall be finding out. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me today. Uh, my name is Anita Soina an environmentalist by passion, but a communication student, final year student at Multimedia University, mm. pursuing a Bachelor of Arts in PR and Corporate oh, Communication. Diaspora. Imagine. Ah, welcome. It's been a uh, long flight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take the COVID <laughs> test first and all that <laughs> before I got here. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Though. Yeah. And you, gentlemen. My name is Dennis Kimani, mm -hmm. the founder and the secretary general of Youth Green Society. We are all matters environment and the green world, mm. trying to get the world to the best place. Right. Yep. Let me begin with you now that we are there. What are we looking at in terms of climate crisis in the world at the moment, even as a country in particular? It's everything that we do, mm. from what we eat in the morning, from what we sleep, from what we live in. That is the what you're seeing about the climate. Mm -hmm. But we see this climate has been so much interrupted by our industries, mm. the development that we are coming up with, our families and everyone. So we are here to try solve these menaces by creating an awareness to the world. Yeah, and a lot of businesses out there because um, we are trying to make sure that it it it, uh, it fits even to the people who are watching who are mostly um, guys who are conducting business or going to a place of work. They don't understand that even the places they work to are contributing to a climate crisis through how they. Um, pollute the air or the water sources that are near them. Um, is there a way that uh, this can change, Anita? Um, like you said, most people are not aware. Uh, but just to correct you, few people are not aware. Ah. M uh, most people are aware and are ignorant. Ah, that they makes sense. they look at uh, it's always profit before the people. Mm. So profit before the environment. That's where the problem comes. People want to make money quickly. People want to see how we are going to be the best in a certain industry. And maybe just to mention uh, something that people maybe don't look at it so much. We have a lot of greenwashing companies. Mm. For a company to have, for example, a plastic bottle with a reuse uh, the, the the reusing sign, mm -hmm. the one for reusable, mm -hmm. and then we still find these products in landfills and in oceans, means these people do not have any plan for recycling. If you have a product which is not environmentally friendly, and then it's written, please recycle me. Ah. Not every citizen understand what, mm, that, what means. that means. So you clearly don't have a plan to maybe take back your products. For So I can say most businesses maybe understand, but uh, mm -hmm. the problem is they want to go mm -hmm. for the money first. Mm -hmm. But like people say, mm -hmm. money on a dead planet mm -hmm. is nothing. Wow. Money on a dead planet is nothing. And we don't want to leave a dead planet to um, the future generations. However, people, most people argue, or some people argue, that um, I, I don't care. I won't be there. I won't be there 100 years from now, the one you're predicting that the world will um, crash under uh, global warming or a climate crisis. I won't be there, so I'll just live in the moment. How would you try to convince someone like this to be environmentally conscious 
and ensuring that our climate and uh, we are not plunging into a climate crisis. Richard, trust me, you, you don't plant a tree because you want to celebrate its fruits now. You mm. plant a tree for the future generation. Mm. Most of the people, or most of the trees that we are even having a shade on now, yeah. you're not the ones who, re who planted them. You just found a tree there. So you're just planting a tree for the next generation. Anita is talking about the landfills, the companies. Why can't we sort that waste before it goes to the landfills? Because mm -hmm. if you see the government now, they're giving tenders for only transportation. Mm -hmm. no, no, no even sorting, no even me any mechanism, mm -hmm. no, no any mechanism for, for sorting that waste. Mm -hmm. You see, that mm -hmm. is like we are doing nothing. Mm -hmm. We are just wasting money. Because if you are going to sort waste from the point of production, mm -hmm. that is when we are we are trying to waste manage. Right. And there won't be any landfill. Mm. And maybe to add on that, the point where you said uh, people say, of course, I'll not be there. Mm. Right now, scientists are saying that by 2030, we'll have the worst impacts of climate change. Mm. Okay, for example, myself, I'll be 30 years, God willing, if I'll be there. So by 2030, I'll be 30. Mm. By 2030, I'll mean, be 30. Yes. So you can't tell me it's... It, like I always put it, it's about my generation first, right? And then the next generation, right. and that's why, like um, most of the people I work with, the people I try to talk to every day, are these people my age because the people who went ahead of us, like when grandma uh, said, mm -hmm. the people who destroy the planet, the generation that destroys the environment is not the same that pays the price. Mm -hmm. So we are paying for the price, which other people. Mm -hmm. Are, are responsible for. Right. So I will not want us to now sit and relax because we no are the one. people who are affected. Right. Yes. Mm. Because right now we're already having the, the climate crisis uh, evidence through floods, like you said. Uh, we have the issues of uh, droughts. Farmers, n they don't even know what to farm next. And when the mm. farmer is affected, it means I am affected as a consumer. Right. Food production is affected. So we really can't keep saying... Uh, Climate is change is a 2060 thing, 2030. Mm. No, that's why we need to act now. Right. Now, Dennis, what are some of other causes that might lead to a climate crisis? Um, because uh, we would love to understand, apart from global warming, of course, which uh, most people seem to be conversant with these days. What you do at home? Mm. Let me ask you a question. Ask me a question. How do you do your waste? Um, I throw it in a garbage uh, paper bag that is carried every morning. Every morning? Yes. Is it separated? No, it is not. Organic in water, in paper? No, I just throw in Put everything. Put all together. Because I, I only get one bag. Yeah. So, so <laughs> everyone is a part of the climate crisis. Because uh -huh. that is part of that when you food waste, you mm -hmm. see, food waste uh, rem uh, is part of the, when in combustion, mm -hmm. when you put all of them there, it, mm -hmm. is it goes to the climate like yes. and to the ozone. So you find that this waste is the one that is coming up with the climate crisis. Mm -hmm. So what I can say is that let us first food security. Mm. Let us first do like um, in New the Green Society we are saying, waste can be used for economic purposes. When you're at home, let's say in an apartment, an apartment has almost 100 people in Nairobi, Sindio. Mm. So what I'm saying is that let these companies that are coming to collect these waste come with uh, methods of separation, methods of separation yeah. from the, from the point of yeah. production. Yeah. Ah. So when you come with organic of a whole apartment, that is compost manure because mm. you can put it in dustbins and compost it. A apart from finding uh, food remains, bottles of alcohol and soda and everything uh, in else, one bucket. all in one bucket. You see. Right. So this organic waste is being used to compost. Mm. It is After being compost, it is being taken to the... Mm to the farms, mm. that is providing food. Mm. So we are not going to rely, to rely on fertilizers that are, are spoiling the soils, mm. yeah. that are spoiling our environment, mm. they are being flown into the rivers mm -hmm. and spoiling the water bodies. Well, we have something natural and organic that we could use. Yeah, creative ones. Right. Banana peels. Right, yeah, and true. we throw those away and mix them all with our garbage. With plastic yeah. and yeah. diapers and mm. all those things. Do you things. personally separate your... Um, I, I didn't come here to lie. I don't <laughs> separate <laughs> my waste yet because <laughs> even if I separate my waste, this person who's coming to pick mm -hmm. will put them we'll all carry together. Them so how do we so change that? So the point is we need to address it from the... Um, Government point. 
Yeah, now I don't know if I can say this is up, uh, top, top up bottom, bottom or yeah, <laughs> top, yes, yeah. Uh, um, where we need to address it from uh, the top position so mm -hmm. people can really, um, by the time it's coming, by the time these people who are coming to pick up trash know, so that people can also be educated mm -hmm. that uh, you need to put your waste separate, because even if I put my waste together, mm -hmm. Uh, I separate them, sorry. It won't matter. I, yeah, it okay. won't matter there. You right. know, they will come and put them all together and to it's a problem. To add to that, yeah. I think the government is the problem. Because mm -hmm. when it is <laughs> tender... I, I, if, if I could have this uh, statement as my ringtone, I think it will uh, ring every time. I yeah. think the government <laughs> is a problem. Yeah, because <laughs> it's giving tenders for transportation only. It is not giving tenders for sorting. Mm. That's why, go outside there. Yeah. You'll find all the lorries outside there. They have trash, even the, the trash is falling down. <laughs> over the, over the, the lorries. Over the lorries. Yeah. You see, yeah. that, mm. is, that is even poor management of waste. Right, because it gets spilled all along. All along. Yeah. At, uh, before it, it reaches Dandora, it is half the lorry. <laughs> <You see? laughs> that, so that is interesting. Le let True the government <laughs> start with sorting from the house. Mm. Let's zero waste from home. Then ah. we won't have any waste to to throw, even we would have any landfill. Mm. Yes. If, you, if it's a bottle, a bottle you can recycle by putting it as a flower vase. You mm. see, the organic waste that you have, you have just decomposed, you, can put it in you a use garden. it in a bottle and grow a flower. Right. Sure. Now, Anita, yeah. what uh, is the green wall that you're wearing? Because I'm really interested in um, this, if this can be seen on the screen. Yes, the green wall. Yeah, so uh, first of all, I've written a book. It's called The Green Wall. Yeah. You um, have written a book. Yes. And you are turning 30 in 2030. Yes. So my estimate... So I wrote oh the book in 2020. <laughs> in 20... Wow. When okay. when COVID came and... Yeah. So um, The Green War is a book that I wrote to highlight environmental injustices. Mm -hmm. But unlike most of the books that talk about conservation, this is not a voluminous book. And mm. this is not a book with um, the tough language of uh, conservation that is used. Hey, conservation conversation. Mm. Well, it's a tongue twister. <laughs> it's not uh, the, tough, the tough conservation language used mm. in conferences. Mm. Why? Because myself have not studied that course mm -hmm. and all the members of my organization have not studied the same. Mm -hmm. So we are passionate. So my target audience is always these people outside the mm. climate movement, trying to bring them closer. Mm. You cannot give someone who's not interested in conservation a big book mm -hmm. with a lot of language that I personally may not even understand. Mm. So I did a small book that highlights uh, environmental injustices in mm -hmm. Kenya, Africa, talking about the wild. Uh, there's a chapter called Why Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's also um, the racism in the climate movement, mm -hmm. which I'll be talking about today in our webinar mm -hmm. with uh, some people from Germany. What time is the webinar? Uh, 12. Okay. Is I'll it manage. Public? No, it's private, but after that they will share it. Okay. So I will share the link here. Right. And then, so the Green War is basically just to show that we are in the battlefield. Mm -hmm. That's why th my organization is called Five Warriors. Right. It's war. This is war. Mm -hmm. Because I see war. there are a lot of uh, war fronts in relations to environment, mm. the greenwashing that I talked about, environmental activism that saw the likes of Wangari Mathai tortured and abused. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of uh, war fronts in environment, and that's why it's called the Green War. Now, Dennis, why is it important that we highlight the environmental injustices that are happening around our society at the moment? Anita is talking about a war. Mm. I'm, I'm talking about a work. Ah. <laughs> you cannot, you cannot wow. fight when you don't move together. Uh -huh. sure. So I want us to move together uh -huh. to stop these injustices. She is talking about the crime and the racism in environmental. Uh -huh. As we are talking, let's work together. Mm -hmm. Everyone is involved in the climate injustice, mm -hmm. in the crisis. Everyone mm -hmm. is suffering. Mm -hmm. So why don't we be there all together? And this is the green walk now. Yep. Let's talk about it. What yeah. is the green walk about? The green walk. It starts uh, called Environmental Awareness Day. Mm -hmm. we, was, we want to create awareness from... I went to Karura and the city park. You mm -hmm. know where it is? Yes, yes. It is in a mess. Mm. My green wall partner. It is in a mess. You need to go there. <laughs> Why? The, the, the streams are, are have dried. Bottles all over. In Karura? 
Imagine, I even wonder how people sneak in the bottles because it's normally like uh, some sort of illegal Mm -hmm. to go inside Karura with bottles, bottles. but you'll always find the bottles, if not bottles, face masks. You know, and it's funny that someone would go to a public green space to go and enjoy the greenery, but then come and pollute it for others who will come there even for themselves. That's why I told you people understand the importance of these green spaces. Mm. They are just ignorant. They are just ignorant. Yes. They're, They're ignorant. just purposefully ignorant. Yes. Yeah. Now, let's talk about your organization, Spice Warriors. When did you start it and um, how is the progress so far? What are we looking at? First of all, to so start with the name, people ask me if I sell spices. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Like also, it, it sounds like uh, it a certain spice? radio station. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, Spice Warriors is an organization that I started uh, in 2018. Mm. And um, I remember in high school, I was a scout. And we used to plant trees. And I used to take care of the trees. Of course, scouting is all about funky and all that. Mm. But I still... Uh, I still took care of the trees, but that time I really didn't understand. You know, I was doing because I'm a scout, I'm, a, I'm an official. And you need to. Yeah, and I'm doing it because our scouts patron has said and mm-hmm. all that. So after high school, I joined a mentorship program. It's called Spice Without Borders. And the, the founder took me through a mentorship uh, program. T- and that time, I told him I just want to become a social change activist in the society or social change catalyst in the society. And he told me, then you have to read about the SDGs. Mm. So I read, I read about Kalenjin in me. I read about <laughs> SDGs. Yes. And, and um, so I was looking at no to poverty, zero hunger, and I was like, I'm going for this. But then again, I came across climate action. This time around, huge terms, global warming, climate crisis, uh, climate emergency. And I was like, no, this is the way to go. Mm. But then again, you realize it's uh, it's a big fight. You can't do it alone. So what do you need? You need a team. And that's how I started Spice Warriors. Mm. And the, the word spice is because at our mentorship uh, organization, at our mentor organization, mm. I was given the symbol, the red chili. Mm. The red chili to mean I disrupt. Uh-huh. Those are the comfort zone. Nice. So ours is to disrupt the climate change this deniers. Well thought. Yes, <laughs> it's deep. Eh? <laughs> <I know. laughs> yes, and warriors because we fight to protect the environment. All right. So yeah. Now the Youth Green Society. Yeah. Tell us what it's about. Youth Green Society. It was formed for youth empowerment, but we do this youth empowerment with environmental conservation. Mm-hmm. We trust that uh, w- without the environment, nothing can be done. Mm-hmm. So as we try to empower ourselves, we get the, we cannot forget the environment. And so that's where we come up with the events to, to empower ourselves. As I said, mm-hmm. I w- I'm talking too much about the waste management because that's where we can empower ourselves. Mm. We cannot go and do anything for the lake, but we can do something for the waste management. There it's where the youths come in now. If this empowerment is given to the youths to sort waste, to manage waste, youths will be empowered financially because mm-hmm. we'll come together as a society, we contribute mm-hmm. and come even buy a lorry, mm-hmm. but we won't do the sorting that people are doing under the waste management. We'll mm-hmm. start from sorting mm-hmm. and we'll, we'll even do compost manure. Mm-hmm. You see, that's where we came up with this idea. Why can't we start a society that it's environmental friendly. After all, that is what we, 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 we grow in. Yo, listen. I have had interviews here of people talking about various issues for a long time. But this particular one that we are having a discussion this morning is, you know, is, um, com- it I- is hitting closer home. But it's a very difficult thing. Yeah? Um, it's really difficult to bring people out there to be environmentally conscious, to be conscious of, to stop dumping, to stop littering to, you know, even like from their own homes to ensure that it's even an environment that will reflect what they want to see outside, especially the youth, of course, because we there are a very short uh, concentration span. Yeah. And if something isn't fun, they don't want to be involved in. Yeah. How do we ensure that such a difficult conversation and such a difficult task can be able to be undertaken? You guys are speaking about, um, you know, ensuring that they're empowered, um, youth are empowered, a lot of people are knowledgeable with what is happening. But um, is it easy? Is there a way we can do it without having the difficulties that we're having right now? Um, so maybe to say, first of all, we need to uh, do away with the tough con- con- conservation language. Mm. Uh, because if we are trying to reach everybody with a language that only experts use, 
it's uh, it becomes a challenge. Uh, another thing is uh, we try and make conservation fun. Environment conservation is not all about planting trees only and maybe those serious things. Also, um, because in our organization we do a lot of uh, activities like camping. Mm -hmm. Of course, we invite people for camping and people will be excited when we get there because mostly we camp in the forests. Mm -hmm. So when you camp in the forest, people start to understand ah, you make the it importance. Fun. And yeah, you make it fun so that they can look at it. Also, uh, one way I've been able to is at least, um, for example, when I released my book, the people who have bought it are people outside the climate movement. And that for me is a plus because that's my target audience. Mm. I have been able to reach uh, to the arts and entertainment industry. If you ask somebody, Anita Soina, they'll tell you Anita Wamiti. That's mm. how they love calling ah. me. That's Anita Wamiti. Yes. Uh, so um, I've tried to reach to those uh, arts and entertainment industry. If you if you talk to Chris Kiro, you talk to Jalango about environment, they will always mention my name first. Mm. Because I looked at it this way. We cannot keep talking to scientists. Mm. Scientists are giving us information. So let's give this information to other people. To people. Yeah, so ju just uh, making it fun will mm -hmm. also attract young people. So we are going to uh, do an intermission. Um, Anita Wamiti and uh, Dennis Wa. I love the name though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I remember the Gegeton star. Yeah. I was saying that there's a girl that is keeping tagging me with oh meeting yes. and a meeting and a meeting. That's yeah. a major. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we hope they are s they're also talking about the environment, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, yeah. that's also another challenge, by the way. Mm. When you talk about that, people want to talk about the funny part. Yeah, right. But when you want to be serious, nobody wants to be serious. Yeah, that's, one, that's one big challenge. I the other myself. day on my updates, I was asking, Nani and Ataka meet, I supply them because I was... Um, somewhere where there was that, but people don't want to, you know, to look at it that way. Yeah, but now, <laughs> since we are on the fun part of this show, um, I'm seeing smiles, but uh, they might turn into frowns in a second. We want to play a game. It's called Identify the Brand. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I'm giving you a pen and a paper to identify a brand. So we're going to be given brands on the screen by my producer and director um, who are uh, talking to me in my ears, and I think we are ready. So we, we, li we, we we're going to be writing a list and then we'll mark against each other. If you pass, if you don't know it, just pass. Then we'll see who loses. Uh -uh. Yeah? The I'll first one I have never seen before in my <laughs> life. <laughs> next, 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 next. Ooh. Um, Ooh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You're right, yeah, you don't see. <laughs> yes, next, next up. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. You're supposed to be like, you're not seeing it fully. Oh, you're not seeing it. No, no, you don't see the name. You just write the name. <laughs> um, next up. My goodness, you people. What is happening? Okay, next. What? <laughs> I am losing today. <laughs> Thoroughly. The symbol of quality. Ah, of, no. No. Kweli. Kweli. <laughs> si kebs no symbol of quality. <laughs> I know. Um, Next. That's one I know. I don't know that. I don't. <laughs> Next. What? Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. Next. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> what is happening to me today? Next. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Next. What? <laughs> you know this? No, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> ah, okay. The way you've smiled throughout this. I won. <laughs> I won. <laughs> um, I'll show you. Later. How he knows you, so you I'll... This is mine. I have to write my name. <laughs> <laughs> you will, you will, no, we'll exchange. We'll exchange. You'll, you'll mark his or mine. Okay. Um, but I think it will work better this way. Yeah, Kwanzaa. I didn't... Savannah who? Savannah Cement. Wow. Second? Jack Daniels. Ati? JD. JD. <laughs> Kama kawaida. The third one, Ketepa. I wrote KTDA. My goodness. I got it. <laughs> third one, fourth. What? Here, here, it's what? here. What? What? <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> She got it. Um, fifth. 
Security. KK security. <laughs> okay, <laughs> who have thought? X, which one? I'm not sure of that. Which X? Oh, sorry. It's Chapo. Oh, I thought we were naming them. Um, next. <laughs> Cousins. The original for cousins. No, I listen. I don't take. I don't take uh, weak uh, things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> next. <laughs> next. Anime part is ZD. Next. This is uh, b before before this one. Honda. It's Honda. That's Honda. Yes. Honda. What did you say? Please, yo. I'm in some Mitsubishi. You know, I don't drive um, normal. No, uh, it's okay. Jumia. It's fine. Ne last one. Uh, what? No idea. No idea. Yamaha. What? Ah, okay. Well, one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. Wow. Um, this game was rigged from the very beginning. You have five. How? Um, <laughs> How many Caribbean? You have six. <laughs> yeah, so say, and, and the winner is? I check it. Uh, what I got is irrelevant to the two. show. So you got two. <laughs> <laughs> but you tried for Ketepa. You tried. Yeah. I tried. Yeah, KTD and Ketepa. You know. Yeah, you know. You gave him a tick because. No, I gave you. Uh, it, that's a wrong. That's <laughs> not I a tick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but let's <laughs> not reveal the, the provisional results. <laughs> uh, the provisional results we will reveal later. Thank you very much for having the game with me. Um, Anita won. She got a six out of ten, among our highest scores here. Yes. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. Always the winner, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Born a winner. Yes. Right, um, but thank you guys for having the conversation with me. Um, let's, hopefully, people have gotten the message, even in between these jokes that we've been sharing, um, that we really need to be conscious with what is happening with the environment, with the climate, because it affects how we conduct our business, how we live, yeah. how we interact with everyone else, right? And um, your last remarks to that camera, anything you want to say, anything you want to ask me, um, if you will have anything that you want to ambush me with, and uh, as we close up for like 20 seconds each. Okay, so... Um, and where people can get your book. Yeah, oh I forgot yeah. that. Uh, my book is at uh, Nuria store, Nuria the Honest store. They deliver to any part of the country and any part of the world within three days. And we also have these hoodies in different colors, red, orange, yellow, name them all. And also today, is a, a very special day. Our treasurer is celebrating her birthday, and we planted uh, our members planted birthday trees for May babies. So April babies planted birthday trees for May babies, and today being uh, our treasurer's birthday, allow me wish Frida, Mama Pesa wetu, a happy happy ah, birthday. Mama Pesa. Yes, yes. she's the treasurer. Happy yeah, birthday, Frida. And, and maybe just to finish, uh, the only qualification you need for you to conserve the environment is the fact that you live on this planet. Ooh, Thank you. That is so powerful. Dennis? Oh. I have only three things for the world mm. and the youth. We are the, we are the people who will live in this world more than the, our parents. We are the people who are waiting to have children on this world. Let's be the people to conserve the environment. Again, let's keep it green. And let's start zero wasting from home with YGS, with only the simple. Have three dustbins, one for water, the second for organics, the third for papers. And don't throw them together. Be clever, compost, recycle, and even tell your neighbor that you don't have to litter. That's right. the only way that you go in green. Right. Thank you very much. Um, Fifi Pats, Fifi Pats, you're watching. That's Thank my you. girl. Oh, that's your girl. Yes. These are your people. Your people are watching. She's saying, Team Anita. So, Ina. Uh, Masi Mwangi, Tim Dennis Kimani, we are, we are here. Thank you very much for watching. Sebastian Buton. Yes. Um, and Fifi Pats again um, saying, Des the Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, thank you very much for all those people who are tuning in and continuing to send uh, their messages. Thomas Mbashu, thank you very much for watching, as well as uh, Donaldo, who is watching all the way from uh, Turkey, and all the other people who are watching from various locations and sending in their messages. Thank you very much for watching. Where is the, I'm asked, where is the green walk? The green walk. Where and when is the green walk? The green walk is on 30th of May this month. It is from Zaiga to Karura. We are going to plant trees there. But before the event, we are going to be on a child, uh, in a children's home. As you said, at Youth Green Society, we believe in mentoring the young ones. So we want to start mentoring the, because a tree, you direct a tree when it is young. Right. And it has, that's so. 
Yeah, it's true. Uh, thank you very much, for guys, for coming through. And I hope I can have this conversation even off this screen um, elsewhere. That was the launch with Anita and uh, Dennis, who are have helping me, of course, break into that uh, climate crisis that we are facing all across the world. Make sure that you are being environmentally conscious, even from your house, recycle, reuse, and do all those other small things. They really help. But now we're taking a look at uh, our technology segment, that is Tech Voice, which has been running for quite the longest time now. And today we have wireless technology we are we have we've tried we've tried let's take a look at and see what uh, wireless charging is all about <laughs> 